global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. The crisis in Labour Party is becoming very intense fairly recently. A few days ago, Isaac Balami stepped out of the party. He said it was because of some of the leadership crisis that was there and he felt it was okay for him to return back to APC. Right now, um, the Nollywood actor, who is now a politician, talking about Kennedy Okonkwa, had repeatedly lambasted the Abure-led National Working Committee of the party, pointing fingers at so many things that they are doing, which, according to him, is totally out of place. And this time around, he's warning Nigeria about the fraudulent nature of the leadership of the party. This is very serious, I must say. Let's look into the reason why he says Nigerians shouldn't go close to Abure if they don't want to be scammed. And according to the news veteran Nollywood actor and politician, Kenneth Okonkwo has urged everyone to avoid Julius Abure led National Working Committee, not NWC of the Labour Party. Okonkwo said people would be scammed of their hard earned money if they follow the Abure led National Working Committee, which he described as a bunch of ill fated liars. In a post on his handle on Monday, the veteran actor dismissed a statement by the National Working Committee of the Labour Party that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, didn't reject its last convention. According to him, he says, my attention has been drawn to the updated lies of the rejected purported Abure-led National Working Committee of Labour Party signed by one Abura before to the tune that INEC didn't reject their crooked convention. A look at the letter will reveal that the writer neglected, failed, and refused to include the debts they purported to notify INEC of the changes in the venue. This is because they knew that the notice was inadequate and consequently by section 82 subsection 5 of the Electoral Act was void. INEC didn't attend because they were not legally notified to attend, not that they opted not to attend. Also, the Labour Party members or their duly elected delegates were not allowed to vote for their preferred candidate in the purported convention in accordance with Section 82, Subsection 3 of the EA, making the convention void for not being all-inclusive as required by law. Everyone knows that they didn't organize what local and state congresses before the purported convention. INEC was right in rejecting the illegal convention and they remain perpetually rejected. I wish to advise everyone to stay clear of this bunch of ill-fated liars as they will be scammed of their heart in money if they follow them. It has been recalled that Okonkwo had distanced himself from Julius Aburin, the National Working Committee of the Labour Party. He said he couldn't continue with a corrupt and incompetent National Working Committee led by Abure. The Nollywood veteran expressed strong condemnation of the National Convention organized by Abure, saying it was a rift with criminality and corruption. According to him, he says nothing can wash out the criminality, corruption, and incompetence with which he, the purported National Working Committee was purportedly organized a uh, convention was purportedly organized by abure i did not leave the comfort of a ruling party apc because i believe that they are incompetent and dishonest only to come and join another incompetent corrupt association which is the current abure led national working committee of labor party this is serious i must say and uh, you know the greatest fear now is Every day, the trust that Nigerians had on Labour Party is leaking. And I'm wondering if it will be a conducive platform for Peter Obi to continue with his political dreams. Because uh, with all what we are hearing thus far, you know, the tales have been much. Isaac uh, Balame had also said his own before he returned back to APC. Right now, Kenny Okonkwo is repeatedly mentioning it. And I can still remember when uh, Dwala or Bwala Daniel reacted to the case of Balami, Balami Isaac leaving Labour Party to APC. He says the second in the list will be Kenneth Okonkwo. And lastly, it will be a case of uh, Peter Obi leaving the Labour Party back to the PDP. And uh, I mean, the way things are going, it seems that there are so many uh, issues going on in the party which had triggered some kind of uh, uh, anger, curiosity, and a lot of people seem to be destabilized with the fact that things are not working well. You know, one of the things that have been a key issue in the party is the fact that some people believe that it is their private organization. As such, they can rule it, do things the way they like. Everybody knows that that party came into limelight because of Peter Obi, because of Peter Obi's integrity. That was the reason why most Nigerians voted for Labour Party members. 
But now that there are insider reports that Labour Party, there's a lot of corruption going on, especially as it has to do with the issue of fund and uh, misappropriation, as it has to also do with the case of the convention. I mean, it triggers a lot of worry. I am just thinking if Peter Obi uh, will consider possibly starting his own political party or uh, going back to another party, because the, the, what makes up whether we like it or yes, what makes up Labour Party is actually the obedient. Obedience were the one who made Nigerians to accept Labour Party. But they have failed severally. They are like serial, uh, uh, case of serial liars here and there before you know they are dry. It first started with Arambabi and Apapa. They said that Abure was not right, he has defrauded, he has signed people's letter and all of that. And before we know, uh, the issue was resolved somehow. I don't know how they resolved it, but before we know, our uh, 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 papa said it was cool and they are now working with Abure. But other members of the party are complaining that there is fun, I mean, funds uh, misappropriation. Many are crying out that the convention did not actually hold, which means the Labour Party guy wants to keep the party under his control. Talking about Abore. And transparency is what all Nigerians are looking for. If we just hear that you are involved in any form of fraud, or maybe you are not transparent, and that your integrity is doubtful, Nigerians will not come close. Why? Because uh, these are the key traits of most of Nigerian leaders which has kept the country where it is. And I mean, uh, this guy had repeatedly come out and Ken Rukungwa, and ever since he's been coming out to talk about it, nobody has challenged him with documents showing Nigerians. Nobody had came to pay a courtesy visit to uh, INEC to say, say you guys have authenticated our convention and all of that. So it's just uh, an in-house fighting, which is not good enough for the growth of the party. Right now, Nigerians seems to be losing interest in the party. And uh, gradually, people are walking away day after day. We are noticing people are walking away day after day. Those who were adding members of the party, they are not showing so much interest again. Somebody like Yenusa seems to be more attached to Peter Obi, which means wherever Peter Obi goes, that's where he's going to go. I mean, other guys, check the, check the list. It is long. The question is, does it mean... Peter Obi cannot step in and solve this problem because what we are saying today looks very jokeful. But guess what? There are evidence on ground that a lot of people are keeping which they will use to wreck the party when it comes to 2027. Because one thing is certain, the opposition, the ruling party and other opposition party, when they see that you have lifted up your head to go very far, they will be ready to pay any amount for the party to be torn apart. And what it takes is just one greedy fellow who is part of the Abure's uh, uh, National Working Committee and who knows some of the dirty secrets there. He will just come and call him money. Before you know, it will be a case of running to the court, running everywhere, tearing the party apart. So I, I feel at this point, if Peter Obi is not sure of possible resolution, he should be thinking that 2026... Or 2025 ending, kickstart your own political party. Bring in some people that you know uh, have integrity. Nigerians can talk about their integrity and let them be a part of it before you start making those, uh, you know, electoral or sorry, those electioneering campaign real. Because with the situation we are seeing right now, um, the future is bleak for Labour Party, except some people who come to that realization that the party is not their property and do things the way it should be done. Kenny Okonko has been speaking severally and I wouldn't doubt it what uh, Buala said. I'm not doubting he may at this point think of returning back to the APC because I can still remember that the reason why he left APC for, uh, for Labour Party was because of those fraudulent activities, lack of transparency, corruption here and there, misappropriation of funds. That was the real reason why he left. Coming down here and seeing that the, these guys are possibly a, a, a prototype of where he left. It was a, it's better I return because at least the other side, they are successful and they are doing well. Though I know that it will be quite difficult for him to go back because he has spoken so much. It was from his mouth. Everybody knew knew that there was a set of people called a, a BDAPC. It was from his mouth. So I'm wondering how he will return back. But however, I think what he's trying to do is to drag out these guys so that the truth can be made, you know, revealed thereafter. That's where we like to leave it. Let's meet in a conversation. What do you think about the future of Labour Party, considering the fact that some of their key stakeholders are taking a walk? and are castigating them openly. Let's interact. Global happenings today.